Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will introduce you to executable packing and obfuscation, which is an important concept in malware analysis. On Windows and Linux computers, executable files exist in various types and formats. We have another video on our channel that introduces you to the various executable types. You will find the link to it in the description box below. The full extent of capabilities of a malicious executable can be identified by reverse engineering it. Reverse engineering involves converting the executable to its native form, that is the original source code, and analyzing it. Two major challenges in reverse engineering are software packing and code obfuscation. Let me tell you more about these two types of protections. In software packing, after the malicious executable has been created, it is compressed. If an executable is packed, then there is not much information that can be recovered from its compressed state. The file must be decompressed or unpacked before being converted to its native form. A debugger like OllieDBG can be used to unpack executables successfully using dynamic reverse engineering techniques. In a few words, this involves setting breakpoints on key sections of code, running the packed program in a virtual machine, waiting for the program to unpack its own code, recovering the unprotected code. The code will typically be assembly code that then needs to be reverse engineered further. Here's an exercise that you can try. Write a simple hello world program in C. Load your program into Ghidra. Observe how easy it is to reverse engineer. Pack your program with UPX, a free and popular software packer. Load the protected program into Ghidra. Observe that your code is now hidden. Another technique used by attackers to complicate reverse engineering attempts is code obfuscation. Here, the code is protected using three main techniques. 1. The source code is edited before compilation to be obfuscated. 2. Compiler extensions are used to obfuscate the code at compile time. 3. An automated tool will rewrite a compiled binary to obfuscate its code. There are many code obfuscation techniques. I will list some here. Control flow flattening. Opaque predicates. Junk code. Virtual machines. There's a free code obfuscation tool on Linux called Tigris. It can obfuscate C source code. Write a small hello world program on Linux and then protected it with Tigris. You'll be amazed and how your code is transformed. I hope you have a good idea now about what packing and obfuscation are. If you're interested in learning software deobfuscation, then I recommend that you first learn how to protect code using the techniques mentioned in this video. Then break your own code protections. Once you've mastered the basics, try deobfuscating protected malware code. Analyze how an adversary tried to protect its code. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!